Hello gamers, Matt Lemke here with another box breaking. In this box breaking, we are going to take a look at the new Flux game, Cthulhu Flux. But we're going to start with this really cool dude, the unspeakable. You cannot hold this card, but must place it face up in front of you. It's a new creeper. We'll zoom in. Get a little handy dandy pointer, in this case a drill. You cannot win if you have this unless condition says otherwise. The player who drew this card chooses a word, like the. This card is instantly moved to any player who speaks that word thereafter. That's just evil. I like it. And we're going to zoom out a hair. Put that card over there. And we're going to come here and we're going to go Cthulhu Flux. The game can be played by two to six players in about 10 to 40 minutes. It has a new a new ability, which I'm going to guess is this little like lightning thingy, which really means doom, which we'll get into that in a second. Use my drill bit to open the box. Eh, we'll use a file. And we're going to take a look at some of these cards. Because they've always got new cards in these, and they're really, really cool. Of course, they always come with a little advertising brochure. They always come with the how to play rules that you really don't need because the rules are on the cards. Like that. Bam. So, we're going to look here real quick. We're going to flip through some of these cards. We're going to flip through some of these cards. New goal, checking in. Player who has sanitarium. Yeah, that's right. Cthulhu would have a sanitarium. Meat Market, ooh, Eldritch Secrets. Player who has Necronomicon and Elder Signs on the table wins. Those are some of the new goals. Order of the Dragon, Seal of the Gate, Prohibition, <gasps> The Call of Cthulhu. It's an ungoal. If the total doom count for the table is six or more, and Cthulhu is in play, the game ends with no winner. And then there's some really cool new rules. Miskatonic Study. Draw and play one extra card per turn if Necronomicon is on the table. Dark Gifts. Once per turn, if you have something doomed on the table, you can draw a card. Ooh, that's cool. Well, let's try and find some of these Doom cards, because... Oh, what's that? Oh, that's Twist of Fate. I'm sorry. I said earlier that the Lightning Bolt was a Doom card, and it's not. It's the stop sign. Yeah, Twist of Fate is a surprise card. So, this one is... Out of turn, when another player plays a Keeper, it goes in front of you instead. That's interesting. Or, during your turn, you can steal a Keeper. Look at this one. The stars are all wrong. Huh. Yeah, what's the hourglass for? Oh, doom. that means it's a doom card, I guess. Well, let's take a look at the rules and see what they say real quick. Card types are always in the rules. We have the ungoal. Ah, Doom. Creepers and keepers with this symbol on their stripes are said to be doomed. Some cards will bear two or three of these icons. Holy cows. Meaning they are worth more Doom points. These points can be totaled or will be totaled and compared to various situations. Note that there is a personal Doom counter for each player as well as an overall Doom counter for the game. Oh, there's even an anti-Doom counter. Or card. This icon is used to label items with calming effect on the forces of doom, such as they negate doom points. Well, that's really cool. Let's try and find some more cool stuff. Here's a Cult Clash meta rule. It has a lot of text on it, so I'm just going to kind of let you look at it later. Oh, look at the cat. 
It has an anti-doom counter on it. it he looks kind of like a mouse, but... It's a kitten. To play this card, place it up on the table in front of you. And it's a keeper. Ooh, Dreamlands. The Tomb, of course, that's got to be... Whoa, look at Cthulhu himself. Three Doom icons. And he twists the text. He's crooked, I tell you. And look, at, my gosh, we've got Yog Safaf. You cannot win if you have this unless conditions otherwise say. Close it. Some really good art. I'm happy with it. I like the Federal Agents. They're not men in black. That librarian is behind on his work. All in all, as with all Cthulhu, or all Flux games, I'm sure this is going to be fun. And in some ways, this could very well be the most challenging one to play. There we go, there's my creeper, Madness. <laughs> oh, there's Deborah's Nightmares. There's David, the body. It even has stinky fumes coming off of it. Well, folks, there you have it. Cthulhu Flux from Looney Labs. Their new game that will be out August 17th. Oh, no, I'm sorry, August 12th, 2012. I, I may have that date wrong. Let's double check. That date, it will be out on doo -doo 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 -doo, August 17th. I was right the first time around. August 17th. Matt Lemke with two gamer goggles and another box breaking, this time of Cthulhu Flux. If you are watching this on our blog and you liked what you saw, please follow us in the social media links. You can find the icons on the right-hand side of your screen. Thank you. Have a good day.